Hi guys, good evening and welcome to another episode of our Backstories. I have here a good friend from the HIV activism. Hi Jabar, what's up? Hi Stephen, hello everybody. Maayong uh, araw sa inyo tanan. If that is right. <laughs> Assalamualaikum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mabuhay. Correct. And, and thank you for being here for this backstory. Hindi complete ang season pag wala ka din. So, it, it, yeah, it, it's an honor to, parang, uh, hindi kasi parang, di ba, we've just met this year. So, technically, uh-huh. it, it's, well, new friendship and nakakatuwa na. It, it, it came flawlessly and napaka, uh, an, eff, an effort lang siya na naging, Yung, yung flow ng, even though we haven't met yet or in person, I've known you for since you were active in the advocacy as well. So, yun lang, haka, haka happy to have new friends during the pandemic. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yan, Oy, likewise, yeah. Stephen, likewise. Hindi ko nga alam eh. Mm. Um, sorry, pareho tayo madaldal. Madaldal <laughs> din ako. So, I'll no, take so. um Sabi ko nga sa partner ko pag kinukwento ko, it's so nice to be able to establish friendship online. It's yeah. like pen pal in the old days. Diba? Diba? People, people in the old days can establish friendship just writing. Yeah. And then they will just meet after years and years. So now it's high tech. It's like, you know, parang nakakatawa lang. And I can't wait to see you yeah. and Inad and party together, even, you know, the others like si Ben and Carlo. Oh. And, I'd like to meet them personally, all of you. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, of course. And well, very, very soon that will happen when things are okay. Kasi para nag, nag- open na yung mga borders. So hopefully. And then I don't mind, parang um I think it's also with the connection of people. Eh, parang importante din siya. Like during the pandemic, diba, it's it's one of the struggles now. We all got stuck. Struggles? In- Yes, <laughs> it is for others. And we, naman. Yeah, we need to validate that. Na, nang- lalo na sa ano, if I may add lang, no? lalo mm-hmm. na sa mga kinesthetic people like me. I'm very kinesthetic. I like hugging. I like touching. Oh. I like um, cuddling. Charat. But, you know, and, and, and there's so much inhibitions because of COVID, di ba? Okay. There's so much. You cannot shake hands. You cannot when you greet and we were hardwired before doing that diba? when we meet oh. somebody ngayon ano na lang hi hello no contact man naka, Kaya, naka ganyan lang just hands no down. ganyan lang. oh my god ito <laughs> <laughs> ba to diba parang sanay tayo with the best and all but eh, well the, this two years really have lessons and you know napakadaming uh, it's learning experience for everyone so I want to know Kumusta? Like, how you've been doing since the COVID uh, pandemic happened? Like, anong ginawa nito sa, sa'yo, sa mga kaibigan mo, at sa relationships mo with, the, with everyone? Ang daming areas na pwedeng puntahan ng usapan na to, no? But uh, yes. siguro unahin natin, um, in terms of friendship, sige. In terms of friendship, I think, uh, no, in terms of family. I, I'd like to start with family. In terms of family, I think, um, we, kami magpapamilya noon, hindi kami, we're not used to group chat. Alam mo yun, yung online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because we are used to going out, pupunta sa uh, restaurant or kakain pag may birthday. Alam mo yun, ang usual hangout namin, dampa. If you know dampa, yes. kami makapagal yung seafood. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, uh, may Muslim side ako eh. So, hindi kami pork lover. So, the seafood is something that we look forward to, lalo na nabubuhay pa yung tatay ko. No? So, mm. and, but because of COVID, so nabuhay ang group chat ng family. Mm. <laughs> we are so connected with the um, online. Mas mm. naging connected kami, mas sharing of pictures na dati hindi. Which is, I think, it's, it kind of helped. And um, especially, hopefully, sa mga pamangkin din namin, pag, habang lumalaki na sila, and in a span of two years, ang bilis nila lumaki, no? I hope we can include them in our GC kasi hindi sila kasama, kami-kami lang magkakapatid. Uh-huh. Yeah, alam mo yung mga adult talk. But I think the good thing here is, yun, mas naging connected even if we, we are physically um, distant. Mm-hmm. So, pag kami pagkakataon to see each other, pag kami mga birthdays, and lalo na nung lumuluwag na yung pandemic, 
we really maximize our time together and we really enjoy our bonding and our kwentuhan. Nakakamiss kaya yun. Yung mga yung normal na kwentuhan. Yeah, just very true. And ano din, parang I think lahat nag-adjust, di ba? D- nag-digital din. Eh, well, okay. um, pero ang siguro, yun yung brighter side na naisipin natin. No? Na nag-adjust. Correct, na. correct, so going, correct. going back to the question, um, for your friendship. Friendship, ayan. Friendship, I think, um, it's almost the same then, you know. Um, I think it's the ng mga researchers nga that we are hardwired for connection, for communication. So I think our digital platform, our technology allows us to thank God there's Facebook, thank God there's Viber, and that's important to be connected. Thank God there's uh, Zoom, you know. So um, hindi na wala ang connection. Um, yung nga lang nawala ng opportunity to have some drinking sessions, yeah. to have some, you know, a little party or uh, here, a little party over there. Medyo mas na, tawag dito, na, na, na bawas-bawasan talaga. But I think, I think nag, nag-adapt ang bawat isa, you know, mas naging mas um, flexible, mm-hmm. you know, in terms of connecting with one another. And you get to also ang kagandahan nga doon, di ba? Even yung other friends mo that you have not talked for a long okay. time, you get to make kamusta with mm-hmm. them that, yun nga, nabubuhay yung connection ninyo. Mm-hmm. Even on a digital, uh, kahit digital way lang siya. So yun. It's very true. Parang napaka-evident din nga ang daming ginawa like mga madami tayong mga friends na talagang we connected and then yung iba parang nakakagulat nga na they were surprised pa diba na you have that bond pa pala na hindi pa pala nawawala kasi <laughs> but sometimes super busy eh, and then hindi, hindi mo wala ka ng time and during this time parang okay you're just stuck at home and then you need to do something for you know, to, to connect with people and isa din yun sa lesson ng pandemic. I also remember, if I may also add, tama ka din. Mm. I also remember, meron nga akong hindi kinakausap na friend eh. For a longest time, <laughs> okay. meron kami rift or something nag-fall out. But because of, because of the pandemic, you get to be more forgiving and to be more tolerant. Mm-hmm. So, eh, mabait naman kasi si friend. No? Nagla-like siya from time to time. So, I decided to like it also, to message him from time to time, to message him back. And yun, I think it may not be as the same as when we were younger, yung friendship, yung bonding namin before. But but I think there is the, uh, what we call this, there is much peace, peace, <laughs> in terms of connecting with him. And I can't wait to see him, perhaps, if given the time na no, magkita kami physically, then I would hug him and, you know, make kamusta with him, have coffee with him. And yeah, that, that's... Touch me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Parang kailangan din natin. But also, we need to note that meron din tayo mga tao na we need to cut off at some point. I definitely, I agree with that. <laughs> What's your take on that? <laughs> I, 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 I definitely agree on it, uh, Stephen. No? I, I, I block people <laughs> okay. if I need to. <laughs> Uh, for my mental health, you no, know, for my sanity, um, and I I pray for them. Really, ha, to, 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 I pray for them because I also don't want to put uh, bad vibes on me. Mm. Um, it, because it's not easy to cut off people. Actually, sometimes unfollow. Pag hindi naman masadong grave yung ginawa, no? kasi ba kami nagawa din naman ako din sa tao hindi natin yeah. alam. Mm-hmm. But I think it's very important that we we set personal boundaries, talaga. Mm-hmm. Healthy personal boundaries, especially with people whom I think kind of toxic, you know, not to judge them because sometimes mm-hmm. you get to see. Kasi ako yung tipo ng, ako, lalo na ako, I consider myself a political. Mm-hmm. Wala naman ako masyadong sinaside, you know. Um, kasi my philosophy in life, buntot ko, hila ko. Mm-hmm. Masira man ng Philippine economy. Pero yung household economy ko, kailangan ko itagudyon. Ano mo yung ganong yeah, 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 yeah. philosophy ako? So, sometimes, you know, I think, I hope that people would understand that in the end, you get your power back. No, don't, don't give away your power to 
um, ayan, nagiging political tuloy yung tone ng usapan natin. Just don't give away your power to other people. Yun lang yung point ko doon. Uh, that point lang. Anyway, so thank you so much for that, um, Jabar. So, since we... You can call me Bang. People, my friends, my close friends, call me Bang. Um, Jabar oh. kasi, Jabang. Oh. So, that's my nickname, Bang. Your nickname is? Bang. Bang. Okay. Okay, yes. I, I just knew that. Okay, let's so, end it with a bang. Char. End it with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige, ito na yung bang question ko for you. I am. <laughs> just to connect, I want to know. Um, of of course, this is really. This, I know this is gonna be personal. If um, uh, the question is all about your backstory, so I want to know from how did all started, like the bang, and then kung paano, <laughs> paano ka ngayon, like. Up to where you are today. <laughs> well, then, uh, well, of course, it's really part of it. But your journey, take us through your journey. journey. Take us through.